Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video. And if you take a look in the top right hand corner, you guys can obviously see that my gem refund has come in from when I had fully maxed out epics before the update. They ended up giving out gems to people who had fully maxed out epics, somewhere around 30,000 gems per epic that was maxed out. And seeing as there's 16 epics inside of the game, do a little bit of math and that gave me 480,000 gems to spend towards a couple of new cards. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed through some super magical chests, see how many we can open. I'm also going to do some new battles after I get the two new legendaries that I haven't got yet. I've already gotten Sparky, but I'm still missing both the Lava Hound as well as the Miner. Uh, so let's go ahead and get through some ma super magical chests, see how many legendaries we can get today, and I'll try to do as many as I can inside of this video. Okay, so so far we've opened up three chests, no legendaries so far. Cruising through another one, we're getting plenty of guards and all the new cards. We got 20 Expos. That's really nice. Um, but yeah, you can see I'm getting a ton of furnaces, a ton of the fire spirits, also a lot of the guards, like I said, uh, because they do weight it a little bit towards the new cards, I think, to catch you up with some of the cards that you haven't had previously. And as we crank our way through the next super magical chest, still no legendary card inside of these chests. Okay, well, we're gonna keep cruising through 380 minions, 137 furnaces, 20 P.E.K.K.A.s that we already have fully maxed out cards from let's open up another super magical chest i guess i did get a little bit yucky, lucky yesterday by getting three in a row uh so opening up this one mini peck a goblin barrel okay this is starting to get a a little bit unfortunate all right rub the ipad for good luck let's go ahead and keep opening we've got gold we've got an inferno tower fire spirits a furnace come on we need some epics to make sure that we know we're getting a legendary and 22 guards okay all right the next chest has to have a legendary inside of it. Let's open this one up. We've got gold, we've got fire spirits, we've got archers, furnace. We need 22 epics to guarantee we're gonna get something inside of this and we get some more guards. All right, how many chests is that in a row? That's like 10 chests maybe without one? Okay, this has to be the one that has a legendary inside of it. 43 mortars, 69 spirits, skeletons, bombers, plenty of commons, furnace, 23 guards. That means we're getting a legendary card inside of this chest and it's gonna be the Ice Wizard. Now, I can't complain about legendaries, but obviously I'm actually really close to maxing out the Ice Wizard. Uh, it's at 18 of 20 right now at level four, and I'm still missing those two new legendary cards uh, for both the Lava Hound and the Miner. I got two Sparkies yesterday. I was pretty lucky with that within my first three super magical chests. Let's go ahead and keep opening. We got some Spirits, three Musketeers, Skeletons, Furnace, Barbarians, Bomb Tower and some more guards. All right, so you guys are sort of getting the trend right now. If we're, we're getting a lot of guards, we're getting a lot of spirits, we're getting a lot of furnaces uh, just to help fill those up. And uh, looking at this chest, actually not that many cards inside of it, but that means we're gonna get another legendary. The Lava Hound is finally unlocked. All right, we got one of the new cards in the Lava Hound. I actually wanna show that off to you guys within a battle. So let's go ahead and start one up and to see what we can do. Of course, we do have our first common that we can upgrade, which is gonna be our Royal Giant up to level 13. Flashback to a week ago and imagine in your head that the Royal Giant would be the first common that I would wanna upgrade. Well, that's the reality we live in right now. It's such a strong card. I definitely recommend you guys play it if you haven't already. And I'll try to do a guide on the Royal Giant sometime soon, but let's go ahead and throw the Lava Hound inside of our deck and like I told you guys we're still climbing back up the ranks from the season reset I haven't been playing too much because I was saving up to do a big stream I've told you guys the story a million times but we're gonna have to play a couple of battles and I guess this is a good way to test the new cards when you're playing someone who's three levels lower than you so let's start off with a sparky in the very back we've got a couple more cards in our hand unfortunately we didn't start with the lava hound so we're not able to show that off just yet he throws out the sad face he obviously knows what's coming, and uh, yeah, we can throw a Valkyrie in front of our Sparky, but he actually has a Sparky as well, so this is going to be a little bit of Sparky on Sparky action. Now, we were able to shoot down those goblins before he was able to uh, get to us right there, but taking a look as our Sparky charges up, it actually gets the shot off with like a half a second left before the arrow hit it, and uh, it ended up doing AoE damage to the tower, which is splash damage and a taking it all the way down to a couple hundred hit points. So finally we have the Lava Hound and I can show that off to you guys. Really strong card right now. A lot of people are calling this the best of the new legendaries that have come out because it's just so crazy tanky. And obviously against something like an Inferno Tower, even if it explodes, the Lava Pups can take out the Inferno after. Uh, so it may be the slowest card in the game, but definitely one of the strongest right now. Let's go ahead and follow, follow up our Barbarians with another Sparky in just a moment. And uh, from here, we should be able to take out this tower 
very fairly easily all right so sparky is now charged up we've got the lava hound going down the lane i didn't have my arrows in time i dropped them as soon as i could uh, but unfortunately not enough to save that sparky or else we might have been able to end the game with this push we're still getting insane damage with this level one lava hound uh, being able to tank up so much health from these towers right here we're going to use the musketeer to take care of the ice wizard and uh, as the lava hound explodes the princess actually will be a pretty decent counter but still we've got the musketeer going crazy on the tower and uh, that should be it for this match and this one is pretty much over all right so cool to see the lava hound in action at least splitting up into those little lava pups and that's only level one lava hound i can only imagine how tanky the level five one is going to be it's going to be absolutely crazy to deal with uh, but let's go ahead and get back into a couple more super magical chest openings we still need to get the miner which we haven't gotten just yet and uh, let's go ahead and try that out right now also you notice above the chest that i already bought all the princesses i don't know about you guys but it's really tempting to buy some of those legendaries when you have the gold to do so uh, which is a little bit tough sometime another legendary card for our second in a row which is going to be another lava hound uh, so two for two for lava hounds within the last two chests so our luck is turning around just a bit let's go ahead and keep opening these we're starting to get some of our commons close to maxed out uh, which is 5,000. looks like we're gonna get another legendary with a sparky and that means three straight legendaries in a row which is actually the second day in a row that that's happened that's never happened to me before uh, but i guess we've gotten a little bit it sort of goes from really bad luck like opening 10 chests in a row without anything to good luck opening three in a row with a legendary card let's go ahead and keep pumping through we're gonna get 23 mirrors which will convert into gold uh, so i'm really not too sad about going over the cap limit as you guys may know they raised the limit to 1 million gold inside of this update uh, so you won't get capped out at 500,000. going ahead and keep opening up some more chests we're going to get some more guards which i'm sure we'll probably be able to upgrade to level seven uh within the end of this video i'm guessing so let's just go ahead and do the upgrades towards the very end another legendary card which is going to be the miner and finally we've unlocked all every single card inside of the game uh, that there is to offer so we already had the sparky we can upgrade the lava hound to level two right now and let's go ahead and throw the miner inside of our deck try it out against someone and to see how it works out now the miner is super versatile he has similar statistics to a knight he's just like a little bit weaker than a knight i think um when they're sort of matched up as far as level goes uh so let's go ahead and try him out obviously you can place him anywhere on the map you can use him to assassinate the princess you can use him to distract something like a sparky whenever it's going to target something really important uh looks like we're going to be playing someone who hasn't changed their name just yet if you guys notice in the top left he still has the color code from when you were able to change your name uh, to be colored inside of the game of course they did give a name change to every single person who had a colored name so if you guys haven't changed your name already i definitely recommend that you do so looks like he's actually going to drop a golem in the very back and i don't think i've showed the new golem artwork on my channel i'm sure you guys have seen it by now whether other youtubers videos uh or you even have the golem yourself and you've played it and you'd wonder what the heck happened to this crystallized golem but it looks like a pretty cool art to me and let's go ahead and keep going we've got the miner that assassinated the princess the sparky is actually pretty weak against the golem just because it's so tanky and from here, we're just going to drop a musketeer in the back. We should be able to clean up that golem and its golemites. And now with the Valkyrie, that'll be able to handle this big push right here. All right, so we swapped around to some pretty good cards at this point. We can bring out our Sparky again. We can use the Royal Giant. We could use the Lava Hound if we wanted to. Definitely a couple of different options, but seeing as we already have a big push and he just used three elixir on those arrows uh, let's just go ahead and use the sparky it's gonna charge up to the tower and deal an insane 1400 damage at level two and then nearly take this thing to zero hp so we've got the musketeer doing damage sparky's gonna charge up one more time and take out that ice wizard taking out that three elixir card and uh yeah with a minute and a half left in the game unfortunate stuff that i had to play some of these lower level guys but uh we're just gonna have to grind it out to get back towards the top towards the end of the season uh, because i definitely expect to be in the top 20 by the time that the season ends because i've been top 20 i think every single season so far that i've been fully maxed out and uh, i'm guessing i'm going to be maxed out on this account just a wild guess that i'll be maxed out by the time that the season ends which is uh sunday night so we'll see what happens let's go ahead and drop a lava hound in the very center that's going to start flying the slowest possible card in the entire game and uh, that's going to give us plenty of time to build up a big push and to go for that three crown win okay so barbarians to stop the prince we've got the valkyrie to uh, stop the dark prince notice how i split them up uh, obviously the barbarian's a good counter to the prince and the valkyrie is a pretty decent counter against the dark prince so i separated them pretty well so the uh, barbarians would not take splash damage against that dark prince we've got the sparky going down right now which should be able to help out against those two legendaries sparky's gonna charge up and take both the princess and the ice wizard out that aoe radius is absolutely insane we've got the miner going into the tower we've got the barbarians going down to yet again and uh, hopefully this will be the one to end the game and we can put this game to rest now unfortunately sparky did die but we've got four barbarians we've got 
uh, our miner going to the tower. We've got the musketeer on the tower. That's going to be the game right here. And uh, let's just go ahead and go back and open up a few more super magical chests to cap this out. And hopefully we can get a few more legendaries inside of those. So three crown victory right here. Let's see what chests we get. We're just going to get a golden chest as well as 20 gold uh, for winning this battle. 39 trophies. Again, super slow climb as I, as I open up some of these chests. It's pretty ridiculous. All right, 4,600 gems. Let's go ahead and open up some more. We're getting inferno towers, fire spirits, wizard, goblins, guard three musketeers and some more dark princes all right well we've opened up a pretty solid amount today i think i'll probably stop within like the next maybe couple of chests uh we've definitely unlocked all the new cards we got another sparky right here giving us halfway up to level uh three for him which is really nice i feel like sparky's obviously a very strong card and can be used in a lot of different decks i think the lava hound's really strong actually all three of the new legendaries are really strong i don't know what i'm talking about they all serve their own unique value and it can be used inside of different decks but as we crank through these next couple of super magical chests not gonna oh actually we will be able to find a legendary in this one which is going to be the princess and that's going to be just a step closer up to level five so good legendary hunting today. I'm gonna to keep opening up these chests on my way up to level 13, uh, which currently is the maxed out cap inside of the game. I'm still pretty far away on some of my rares because they started a little bit farther away than some of the other cards. Another legendary with the Lava Hound right there. And uh, legendaries are sort of just pouring in. I'm not sure what the exact percentage is now. And maybe if any of you guys know uh, for an arena eight chest, what percentage you actually have of getting one of the five legendaries. Another legendary with the Lava Hound. Wow, okay, we got a little bit lucky right there. We got three in a row, I think, again, uh, but they've definitely increased the chances yet a bit just by having those new cards available that you can find towards the end of your chest. Uh, so if any of you guys know, definitely let me know in the uh, comment section below. But I got a little bit unlucky with like five straight chests, so I fast forwarded. This is going to be the last chest of the day. We're going to get eight guards, 137 wizards, 15 poisons, and wrapping it up, we'll get our miner up to level two. And uh, in total, we spent 150,000 gems inside of this video. Now, if you guys know how many legendaries I got, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I think I got a pretty solid amount. Well, we got my lava hound up to level two, miner up to level two, a couple of sparkies, ice wizard, as well as the princess. Upgrading a few of my comments now we upgraded both the uh, barbarians as well as the arrows and taking a look at some other cards that might be useful i think the goblins are a pretty solid upgrade the spear goblins are a pretty solid upgrade those have always been some of the best cards inside of the game and as we scroll down we obviously have some of the new cards with the fire spirits and the furnace still yet to max out and to get up to a solid level so yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna keep spending these gems over the next couple of days to get us fully maxed out uh definitely a solid haul today if you guys want me to show off any of the new legendary cards specifically specifically just let me know below and uh yeah that is going to do it for the video let's go ahead and get these guards to level seven that is going to wrap it up and uh, until next time i will see you guys later peace out